heavy rains hit the city of Manaus, which is in the state of Amasanas. In just a few hours, part of the streets of the city went underwater. The media reported one dead, two people are missing. Videos posted on social media show several areas of Manaus being flooded, along with parked cars. The height of the flood reached 50 centimeters and more. For four hours, 85 millimeters of precipitation fell on the city, and forecasters predict at least 40 millimeters of precipitation before the evening. The situation that has developed in the city at the moment may worsen. Many streets were blocked for traffic, there is pumping water. The state of Arkansas is back in the spotlight. On the night of April 16, a hail storm hit it. The authorities have even issued an orange level warning as well as a tornado warning. The dimensions of the hailstones that we managed to collect and measure ranged from 3 cm to 5 cm in diameter. Local residents report that this hail fell very intensively, in places even mountains of these ice flows formed. The elements caused huge material damage, many buildings were damaged as well as cars. The hail broke the facades of houses, smashed windows, crushed the hoods of cars. Eyewitnesses report that the elements raged for about an hour, which is quite a lot. American states continue to be bombarded by hailstorms. This time, the state of Mississippi was hit by the elements. Hailstones ranging in size from 2 cm in diameter to 5 have been noted in the city of Hattiesburg. It is located in Forest County. The city of Hattiesburg was bombarded with hail for 15 minutes. During this time, the hail managed to cause damage to the infrastructure. Cars were dented, windows were shattered, roofs of houses were pierced. There were no casualties and injuries, not counting the material damage caused. Over the past two weeks, bad weather in the states has managed to cause quite a few troubles. At least 45 tornadoes hit, more than a dozen hail storms and frost with snowfall. A tornado hit Cuba, which was assigned the category EF1 on the Fujita scale. Residents of the city of San Jose de las Lajas, the capital of Mayabec province, were surprised by this tornado, which formed in the afternoon and caused property damage to homes and businesses. Local residents managed to fix the moment of formation and passage of this tornado. They shared these shots on social networks. The width of the passage of the tornado was only 200 meters, and the distance traveled was just over 2 kilometers. It is already known that he damaged more than 10 houses, destroyed some, and tore off the roofs of some. According to local media, there were no casualties. Dozens of hectares of forest are burning in Honduras. In Triquilapa and on the hill of Cantagallo east of the capital of Honduras, 15 hectares of forest are burning, and the fire is growing. According to local media, the fire formed here on April 14. 50 volunteers, including firefighters, forest guards and military personnel, take part in extinguishing the fire. So far, all attempts to extinguish this fire have been unsuccessful. The mountainous terrain and the wind, which gusts reach 22 meters per second, strongly interfere. Since the beginning of the year, 315 large fires have already been recorded in Honduras, which have destroyed 37 hectares of thousands of forests and shrubs. North Dakota was followed by a heavy April snowfall in Montana. 
The storm brought gusty winds and snow to the central and western parts of the state, resulting in power outages. According to the National Meteorological Service, more than 45 centimeters of snow has fallen over the past 24 hours, and this has created a number of problems both on local and regional roads. Authorities have issued severe weather warnings for central Montana, saying that about 35 centimeters of snow could still fall in places. In the past, such similar weather conditions were generally observed in the month of May. So, to say that this is anomalous is probably impossible, but the fact that this is a rarity is so accurate. The temperature in some places dropped to 12 degrees Celsius. The flood season has also reached Terrestan. To date, 30 household plots have been flooded by the growing flood in several villages such as Burunduki, Zimnyaya Gorka and Ekaterinovka. 521 people live in the village. The evacuation of the population is not yet required, but according to the authorities, if the water level continues to rise, this will become a necessity. In places, transport links were disrupted, bridges and roads were flooded. The water level is also rising in the small rivers of the region. So, on the Toima River, the daily water gain was 116 centimeters, on the Shoshma River 160 centimeters, and on the Kazanka River 240 centimeters. An unprecedented heat wave has arrived in India. The temperature in the northwest of the country reached 42 degrees Celsius. This is almost 8 degrees above normal. For April, this temperature is an anomaly. People are dying from extreme heat. As a rule, these are rickshaws, street vendors and the homeless. Drinking water is bought up quickly, and they escape from the hell in the shade of trees. There are no air conditioners in the houses. This is considered a luxury. Therefore, split systems are often only in offices and wealthy people. According to weather forecasts, such a high temperature will last at least a week, and then it will decline. Hot June is ahead, and after that the monsoon rainy season comes in India and the long-awaited coolness comes. Storms and tropical downpours hit the state of Florida. In Palm Beach County, this turned into a localized flood. Due to heavy rain in West Palma Beach, several streets were flooded. The height of the flood in some places exceeds 50 centimeters. Many parked cars ended up in the water, but there were some daredevils who wanted to overcome large puddles, which paid the price. Many of these daredevils had to be pulled out with the help of rescuers. For Florida at this time of the year, these are normal and not even the worst floods. In 2018 and last year, severe floods were observed here. The height of the flood exceeded one meter or more. Then a lot of people, their houses and equipment suffered. So far, there have been no casualties. Thank you for watching the video. Thanks for supporting the channel. Good wind and weather.